Welcome to the last episode of this editor tutorial series. Today we'll add the last little script in and then we'll test the game and export it to the workshop. Uh, let's go back to the entity label to have a look how practical it actually is. Let's open the script. In events we see that we have on entity added which will start up when a different item is added to it during the game. On Entity Remove, when an entity is removed or destroyed, and on Count Change, it triggers when the number of entities changes in the label. Let's choose On Entity Removed. What we want to do is that uh, when the player defeats the two guards, a message will appear that he completed this sector. So, we'll find the IF tile uh, that we'll need. And we'll add it here. If is for making conditions which when completed will activate what we attach to this tile. And it might then continue with other stuff after the if. Let's also find the equal tile and we'll put it into the condition. So here if something equals something else it will trigger. So we'll need also to find get length. Uh, that will return us the number of how long is a certain zone. The zone will again be get entities entity label. There. And as the reference game logic, we'll pick the this tile because we are in the entity script. We'll also find the number tile zero here in the number section and we'll put it here. So, if the length of the array of entities in this label is zero, that will mean that there is nothing in this label, both guards are defeated, and something will happen. And that'll be show warning text. So let's find that here. And into the tile string, uh, you can now write any text you like. So we'll write U1. So, the whole script works like this. If any entity disappears from the label, it will find out, and if there's nothing left in the label, as in the length of the array is zero, then it will show you the warning text U1. Very reassuring. So now let's try out the game by pressing F5. Will it run as we want it to? Well, the lever works fine. Trigger zones are up and running. The interactions on the cat. And animators are working too. And look at it go. And now if we run down and take the sword, the guards will switch to aggressive. Both are defeated, and now we get the gratifying message that we won. So, all in working order as we wanted it. The scenario is ready to go. Of course, we could really play around with the aesthetics properly, but our easy sword quest is ready, so we'll return to the editor. And we'll have a look at how to export the game. Here, top left in the editor tab, we have the export game option where we also have the optimize function which we checked out during welding and which welds everything together to optimize the game. And here we have workshop export, so let's hit it. So that's a no because we want to keep the pathfinding for our NPCs since we don't have any dynamic NPCs at the start uh, which we don't, but we do later on when they turn on via script, so we need pathfinding to work. So no it is. We get the message that optimization has taken place and that the game is ready to upload to the workshop. We can find the exported files easily with show workshop files in folder, which when you click will show you the way to the place your game saved at. 
Then you'll log into the workshop, you'll head to My Creations and you'll put in Add New Creation. There it will ask you for a file and you'll add it in this file we just exported. And there you have it. Now you can make a simple game, so good luck and don't be scared to experiment with all the logics and scripts. Ask around on our forums and hit us up if you don't understand something, because we'll be happy to help. I'm sure we'll be putting out more videos like this in the future, but until then, stay classy, Islanders.